As we collectively get ready to shut the door on a truly terrible year, it's worth taking a look at the one element of 2016 that was consistently outstanding. It's video games. Yes, whilst wispy head megalomaniacs were taking office and the coral reef was withering away into nothing, the games industry was pumping out solid title after solid title, pretty much every month. Put simply, as 2016 already gave you an excuse to batten down the hatches and wait it out with your console of choice, there were a myriad of reasons to do so in style. These are the 12 best video games of 2016. Number 12, Pokemon Go. Qualifying Pokemon Go is a bit of a tough one, but let's sidestep the fact that Niantic blew their own foot off by removing the tracking feature from the game, you know, the thing that you needed to play it, and instead focus on the fact that Pogo, as it became known, was easily the game of 2016. There's literally never been such a cultural movement around a game before, let alone a mobile app, and that's before you factor in the simple yet fun game mechanics, population of our own world with various Pokemon, something fans have been dreaming about for decades, and the actual feeling of being a Pokemon trainer. As Niantic mapped various real-world locations to in-world gyms that you could battle at and claim, you genuinely saw people go out of their way to make a mark on their local area, ranking up and catching more impressive monsters just to fend off an ever-challenging competition. Pokemon Go was nothing short of a phenomenon, and even if its gameplay amounted to swipes and frantic tapping to defeat your enemies, there's an inherent quality in everything it accomplished that just can't go unrewarded. Number 11. Fury. Now, back to proper games, and there's nothing that released this year that forced you to become one with a control scheme quite like Fury. Developed by Team The Game Bakers, it's ostensibly two games in one, a top-down twin-stick shooter with hack-and-slash melee combat and an up-close side-on fighter. Built around speed, reaction times, and the smallest windows of opportunity, you'll need to take down a series of hyper-stylized bosses in the most precise way possible. Waves of blaster fire fill the screen, charged attacks can be dodged or parried, the game knows you're going to get good at its systems, and keeps up accordingly. A few hours in, battles will go from being intense duels to full-on Dragon Ball Z-style showcases of special attacks and flurries of clashing swords. It's less about keeping on your toes and more learning to never touch the ground. Oh, and the game's soundtrack is ostensibly this year's Hotline Miami. Number 10, Final Fantasy 15. 2016's Final Fantasy is a mishmash of tried and tested design philosophies, yet somehow it manages to come together into a mostly cohesive whole. Dark Souls style XP accruing, Monster Hunter bounty reward notice boards, GTA influence open world driving, Dragon Age combat, fishing minigames, photography, selfies. It really is 10 years worth of Square looking at the competition and exacting their own take on how Final Fantasy can still make its mark. All of the above provides great incentive to explore one of the finest and best realized worlds we've ever seen in the franchise. Gas stations sit next to towering monsters, intertwining labyrinthine waterways give way to crash meteors and the slumbering gods that live beneath. It really is the sense of going out on a road trip as four supernaturally powered warriors that excels Final Fantasy XV and helps it stand out amongst the competition. Sadly, the late game story and general attempts at character building is an absolute mess. Square Enix are patching in more story in the coming months, preventing this otherwise stellar title from reaching any higher. That said, what it gets right, it absolutely nails. Number 9. Titanfall 2. Released in a dreadful spot, slap bang in the middle of Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty, literally the week in between the two, it goes without saying that some of the biggest selling franchises in gaming history had already maxed out people's spending limits, leaving little behind for Respawn's infinitely better shooter to claim. And that's a crying shame, because from some of the most innovative first-person shooter levels in history, one that sees you hop between multiple timelines at will, and the other is a shootout that takes place inside an assembly line of moving houses, Respawn's pedigree as a team made up of ex-Infinity War guys truly shines through. Titanfall 2 is a window into the FPS genre its future in everything from weighty physics to class-defining powers and unique weapons. Its frenetic mech field multiplayer is some of the most rewarding and tactile you'll ever play, all making for a pleasant deviation from the Twitch-based likes of the competition. Number 8. Stardew Valley On its face, it's a farming sim, but under the hood, there's a far more complex beast at play. See, developer Eric Baroni was sick of Nintendo's Harvest Moon games, never recapturing that same spark of the old-school originals, so he set out to make his own. The result is Stardew Valley, a gorgeous, serene, relaxing game about, yes, farming, but also dungeon crawling and Animal Crossing-style village bond. By implementing a solid quest and reward system and a bulletin board for any other quests, such as slaying monsters in the local dungeon, you're given far more purpose and immediacy when it comes to what to do than in any of Nintendo's titles. The sort of game with the kind of heart only an independent philosophy could produce, Stardew Valley is a place everyone should visit at least once in their lives. Number 7. Hitman Initially seeing its reputation hampered by releasing in monthly installments, IO Interactive used this extended development time to deliver what is honestly the best Hitman you'll ever play. Levels are miniature worlds of AI scripts and intertwining animations, the sheer breadth of which should see Bethesda quirking in their boots. IO even listened to the complainers from years gone by too, smoothing over how the series' iconically over-the-top kills get triggered to make them more obvious, if you so choose. Now, with a revamped step-by-step -step system easing you into taking out targets in the most ridiculous and impressive ways possible, IO have managed to strike a perfect balance between making a Hitman for the hardcore and the newcomers, the final missing ingredient that elevates this year's entry into quite possibly the finest stealth experience of the decade so far. Number 6. Dark Souls 3 
At this stage, you probably know if you're a Souls guy, but From Software provided the perfect entry point to the franchise all the same, one that doubles as a tribute to longtime fans if you know where to look. Literally every aspect of what we'd call the Soul experience, that of precise hack and slashing, stat based upgrades, towering bosses, and gorgeous world design, is polished to a mirror sheen. You'll slice through regular enemies with increased skill and confidence, be enticed by multiple paths snaking off in two or three directions at once, defeat imposing enemies and use their souls to forge unique weapons, spec your character with armor sets, practice unique kill animations, equip items for future encounters. For the first time in Souls history, it feels genuinely addictive, bringing about that just a few more hours feeling that cherry tops an already exemplary series. Number 5. Doom. Id Software wrote the book on first-person game design, and with their grand return to Doom, some 12 years in the making, they've knocked it clean out of the park and straight up to Mars. Running steady at 60 frames per second, you've not experienced a console shooter like this. And whilst that base foundation immediately challenges you to play as fast as your brain can process information, there are a number of truly innovative game mechanics that keep it all fresh. If you're out of ammo, just whip out your chainsaw and carve through some enemies to trigger a few pickups. Likewise with health, executing enemies restores it, encouraging you to mix up your weapons and tactics on the fly a technical powerhouse from top to bottom. Take gore-soaked levels, varied enemy design, phenomenally powerful weapons, and pack it all in with extra dynamite. Doom is the resulting explosion, and everything you'd expect from a true veteran of the industry. Number four, The Last Guardian. Hands down, Trico is the best animal that's ever been in a game, period. His inquisitive and improvisational animations help create the illusion that this is a real beast you're dealing with, one that will look out for itself, call after you, and occasionally struggle to adhere to your commands along the way. All of this is in service of believability and reward, like training a cat or a dog in real life. And when they finally do what you want, something that happens far more as the game goes on and our heroes grow ever closer, it establishes a sense of fourth wall breaking magic that really sticks with you. When you begin talking to Trico as if he was a real companion, only for his in-game AI to do exactly what you wanted without uttering a syllable, there's nothing quite so special and unique as The Last Guardian. Number three, Overwatch. Every single pixel and voxel, from 2D unlockable sprite stickers to voluptuous character models, is bursting with pixel rivaling charm in Overwatch. Its overall level of visual flourish extending to some supremely polished combat. Yes, it's multiplayer only, but this is Blizzard we're talking about. Long a beloved developer, they've applied their hearty fans' first charm to catapult Overwatch to the top of the esports scene, alongside giving those at home a varied experience depending on which characters you decide to specialize in. Regardless of whether you've been playing since launch or just hopping in now, Blizzard have maintained excellent matchmaking standards, ensuring that unlike Battlefield 1 or Call of Duty, you can comfortably give anybody a copy and watch their face light up. From its roster of lovable characters to a main theme that'll make you want to don a cape yourself, the charge pop sound of the loot boxes and the sheer breadth of gameplay styles inherent in its various characters' abilities, Overwatch will grab you by both shoulders and root you to the spot for the duration. Number 2, Uncharted 4 A Thief's End It might not be the medium-shaking titan that The Last of Us was, but Uncharted 4 does something nobody expected going in. It reframes the entire original trilogy by making Drake way more human. Where before we essentially treated Nate as an Indiana Jones-esque risk-taker, someone who lives for the thrill of the hunt and survives collapsing buildings with a few bumps and a holy crap one-liner, we're now given a proper foundation to precisely why he does all of these things. It's a question you didn't even know you wanted answering, but by making the player imminently aware that there's a person at the heart of all these increasingly over-the-top spectacles and set pieces, it makes you care way more about every last action he takes. A Thief's End concludes the series in landmark fashion, proving Naughty Dog are some of the finest and most learned developers working in gaming today. Number 1. Inside Pause inside at any point and you'll have a painting thousands could analyze with infinite interpretations. Apply that across an entire game and you have something altogether far more enthralling. Playdead Studios have spent the last five years genuinely perfecting every last part of their follow-up to Limbo, the result being an immaculate physics-based platformer where every facet of the end product is polished and smoothed over to stand the test of time. Its gameplay gently ramps up in difficulty without ever being too hard, and graphics as mentioned are sublime, seeing pockets of colour pepper a dystopian landscape that intentionally doesn't tell a straightforward narrative, leaving you to pick up the pieces yourself. The overall feel, score and pace are outstanding, factoring into a supremely confident finale that's ugly, powerful, memorable and still debated about as to its true meaning, all of which establishes is Play Dead as a studio wearing the truest sense of artistry on their sleeves. If you play one game from 2016, make it inside. And that's our list. What are your personal favorite video games of the year? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Scott from OurCulture.com, and I'll see you soon.